We're going on three years with Movie Feuds. That's a crazy long time for this hobby to last. And I want to thank you personally for that. If it wasn't for you, there is no way in hell I would have continued going on. Getting 40 views a day just wasn't cutting it. Now the show's getting something like 20 to 30,000. And that's simply because you were loyal enough to stay with me. That being said, I want to take a look back on some of uh, the episodes that I think have lasted over time. Because this show's come a long freaking way since the first episode in Corey's basement. Uh, obviously, he's not on the show anymore. He left because we were getting basically no recognition, no views, uh, a lot of dislikes, and it just wasn't worth his time. And I don't blame him in the slightest. Let's get started, though, and I want you to know there is a contest at the end of this episode. You can be a guest feeder on Movie Feuds, and I know some of you loyal guys and girls have been really looking forward to that opportunity. So it's coming. Stick around. We're going to go over the top five best episodes of Movie Feuds of all time. Yes, this is extremely meta. On the last two episodes of Movie Feeds, we totally changed the format. We ditched the desk and transitioned to a standing perspective. The final ep of the season was a simple review of Frosty the Snowman, and even though it was unscripted, it was very on point, I thought. A lot of good jokes about the film and a couple subtle knocks at each other made this a very memorable one for me. It also featured a great reoccurring joke we've done three or four times now where we throw out the lost ending credits when something makes no sense. I have no idea if anybody's getting that joke. I never hear comments about it, but I like it, so... Some people say you're only as good as your last game. I tend to agree with that. And also, you need to keep practicing to get better. If an episode isn't working out, I'll straight up trash the thing. I've done so on probably half a dozen occasions. Interstellar vs. Inception turned out great in my eyes for a few reasons. I once more collaborated with professional YouTuber Jonathan Paula. We made sure the script was tightly focused while still finding room to have some fun. I can easily rewatch this episode and get some value from it, which is very hard for me to do since I can't stand looking at myself 9 out of 10 times. I suppose it was only fitting that Corey sang Candle in the Wind by Elton John for his final episode. It was really tough to see him go right as we were hitting our stride on the show. It was about 70% scripted at the time, and although our views were still very pathetic, we were having a good time with the show. And really, that doesn't mean much of anything, because I need to get paid for this stupid hobby. As you know, I've had some great guest feeders on in the past, and I continue to find more. I'm still trying. I'm still working hard for you. Uh, that being said, sometimes episodes with only me work out okay, and I can stomach them. This is one such episode. I seem confident in both the jokes and the commentary without overdoing either. Even more telling is I don't have any interest in Carrie, which makes me liking this episode all the more puzzling. This is the episode that made me a believer in this show, finally. Up until this point, I was not satisfied with my own product, but now I smugly believe this show is better than 95% of the other movie review shows out there. And here's the freaking proof. It's very frustrating to see the amount of subscribers and views some of the top dogs in the review space get, because I work my ass off to do a better job every single week. And I know some of them are phoning it in. Well, there's my top five, and yes, I realize this was very masturbatory, but sometimes we deserve to give ourselves a pat on the back. And I really wanted to speak to you in a more personal light. Usually I'm just throwing jokes out and being a smartass. I wanted to share some of my thoughts on the show over the years, and I'd also like to do a Q&A down the road because I hear that's what the kids do, and, and those work out pretty well. So if you want to know about uh, how this show has progressed over the years and what changes have been made and why, uh, maybe we should set something up. Let me know in the comments if you're interested. Now the contest. I'm going to pick three to five viewers to guest feed on my show. In order to take part, you need to, number one, tell me your top five episodes of Movie Feuds. Hashtag it with feud on on YouTube or in Twitter. Bonus points for throwing out one of my one-liners over the years, or a guest feuder. Just something like uh, dick picking, for instance. I like that. Number two, be a subscriber if you're not already. Number three, you must be a Patreon member. You must pay me on Patreon. No, I'm joking. You don't have to do that, but it wouldn't hurt. Sorry, I'm not going to fly you guys into Minnesota, and quite frankly, you don't want to come here. This place is the worst right now. 
It's like negative 15 out. I'm in a hooded sweatshirt inside. I have heat, but you wouldn't know it. I'm actually gonna do a rant on snow and just this shitty weather uh, down the road. So watch out for that. Until then, more than just reviews, this is Movie Feuds. Nothing witty to say. Not, did I write anything on my script here? Nope. Awesome.